Praise God. I haven't received any mail yet today. I'm sure it's coming now. Praise you, Jesus. When is this day at Bethlehem? King in the manger, no room in the end. Praise God. Praise God. Today's my aunt's birthday, if I do believe. Happy birthday! Or was it the 7th? Was her birthday the 7th or the 9th? I'm not sure. But happy birthday, Aunt Barb. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus. These guys, you're welcome. We're going to get started with a word of prayer. We're going to pray about two things. Uh, we're going to pray for those uh, five people that you have written down on your 1225 card that you're going to invite uh, to the Christmas Eve services. And we're going to uh, pray that they come and that God grips their hearts and they become part of our family. Um, and then we're also going to pray to prepare ourselves for what God wants to do uh, as we open up his word. I know uh, this is uh, every time we get together and we open up God's words, it, it's sort of like a uh, parent sitting down with their kids and saying, hey, we need to have a heart to heart. And I know so I was going over some of my Bible savvy. And, uh, you know, I had, because I missed, I missed a bunch. And I, I usually glance through it. And there are times when my heart was not. And those were, those were really tough. And, uh, God, we do want uh, to lift up our friends and our family members to you, uh, that we would love to see them come and celebrate Christmas with us, but more than that, we would love to see them come to know you. So God, uh, we want to lift up these friends to you uh, and ask that you would give us open doors to invite them, to talk with them about you, to build our relationship with them over even just the coming days, and we pray that they would come, they would hear the gospel, and that you would open their hearts to receive you. God, we also do want to take a moment and just invite you to do whatever you want. You don't need our permission, but we, we want to let you know that we're receptive. If you want to speak to us about something in our life today, if you want uh, to address something that we really need uh, to pay attention to, we, we give you permission to do that. We ask that you would do that through your word. And so we pray that in the, the coming uh, time in your word that you would transform us to be more like you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, I am now going to have you stand up and do what we often do around here and have a moment to meet some of the people in your zone. And so the question I want you to ask is this. I want you to have the other person describe uh, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, that sort of figure in their life, and describe how that person pushed them to grow. Okay, so go ahead and stand up and, and talk with each other about how a, a teacher, coach, or mentor pushed you to grow. Nobody pushed me to grow. They told me that I can do whatever I want to do. Whoops. What happened here? Oops. Oh. 
don't know what I clicked on. But. Describe a teacher, coach, or a mentor. Oh, teacher, coach, or a mentor. Like, How did they push you to grow? Let's go ahead and you can finish up what you're saying and find your seat. You know that once you get into a good conversation with good people, you want to keep talking. Praise God. You can uh, always pick it up again after the service. That's why we do this. <laughs> okay, so that's, this is what I'm doing. It's church right now. Then I go back to studying. I'm well, trying we are to st study in the middle of a series that I have just uh, should I already have been so done half of experiencing God's love. And then and uh, tomorrow I'll phrase, take I have a test to take the meaning of life. That's one way so to describe I'll take my why test. we exist. The God who made us loves us. And he created us to experience his love and to love him in return. That's what we are here for. Now the challenge when we talk about God's love is that a lot of times when we uh, think about what loving means. We have a very limited picture of what God, God's love looks like. And so one of the reasons we're doing this series is to explore the variety of ways that God's love gets expressed to us. God and today we're love. actually talking about one of the more challenging aspects of God's love. Today we are talking about God's love as expressed I hate through these discipline lights off. I hate and correction off. in our lives. I can't uh, stand I think it dark in here. I hate it. He turns it off to say hi to his God's job. Now, not always, people don't always say that explicitly that way, but they, they work on those assumptions that that's what God is here to do. It, it sort of comes from the notion that we have of what loving someone looks like. That, you know, if I love someone, I try to accept them for who they are, right? You know, like, you, you try not to judge them. You, you don't try to force them to be something that they're not. You, you, you don't, you know, you try to validate their choices in life and who they are, even if it's different from you. And so if God's going to love me, isn't he going to accept me just like that? I also think uh, about this in terms of making life easier. I, if I love someone, I don't want them to suffer, right? I want to prevent them from experiencing pain and, and feeling hurt as much as I can. But I if God loves me, isn't he going to do that for me? He's going to do everything he can to make me. my life easier. Now again, people don't say these out loud all the time, but I hurt? know that these are the assumptions that people worry, work with because I see it. the way people react when it doesn't happen that way. Uh, I see how people react when they realize that God is going to challenge them on things in their life. When God's going to say, hey, you know what, the, the way you're living is not the way you're supposed to. Uh, the, the thing you're holding on to, you've got to let go of. That This lifestyle is, is not good for you, and, and it feels uh, like you know, you're pulling in a direction you don't want to go. People resist. It doesn't feel like God is very get, accepting. They like to, it feels like he's judgmental, like not, not very firm, not very like, loving. Like watching I also, have, pain, also see like how people react when life doesn't get easier, happy. it gets harder. Because it's not just that they're upset about you know, things being oh, difficult. You know, that's, that's, that's hard. But it, people also feel like God is failing them. He's being unfair. That he's ignoring their pain when he should pay attention. When he, or he's sending pain just to punish them. Either way, he's not doing his job of making life easier. Praise God. So that's the question we want to explore today. Be safe. Uh, what be if safe God's love night. doesn't mean God just bless. accepting us for who we are? And it doesn't just mean making our life easier. Praise God.